Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ben Carroll from the band Ra. I wanted to uh, take a little second to show you a little exercise that I um, that I do whenever I need to warm up my finger tapping if I've been slacking. Um, now the exercise itself looks all cool and all and all wacky and crazy, but it's actually comprised of a couple really simple things. Um, with your uh, with your fingering hand, all you're actually physically playing is an A minor pentatonic scale shape number one, which is uh, this right here, starting on the fifth fret. <laughs> finger tapping hand or your pick hand uh, is all that it's doing is going up and down stripes on the neck. Just uh, just up one fret, up and down one fret, and then up and down a different fret. Starting on the 12th fret, up and down that. And then the same thing on the 10th fret. But when you put it together, it actually sounds really cool. Now, before we move on, you might want to click on the link right below this video, and that'll actually bring you to... Uh, tablature for this whole exercise so you can check that out and actually see what I'm playing but I'm actually also going to show you right here and play it nice and slow for you but before I before I play the full exercise I want to point out that the trickiest part of this is actually the transitions between the strings and the way that's actually going to work is um, when the exercise starts it starts with the hammer on and when you get to the transition between the strings it's actually a hammer on So that's how it actually climbs up the strings, and it does the same thing inversely going back down. Uh, so when you put it together, it, the whole thing's going to sound like this. So you can see how that works. Now, as far as building speed goes, you definitely want to find a spot where you're comfortable and you can play it smooth and work from there. You don't want to jump in and try and just shred this exercise right away because you're just gonna you're just gonna be all sloppy and, and it's never get any better. It's never gonna get better that way. But um, if you start it at a point where you're actually comfortable and slowly push your tempo up, and uh, it's always good to practice with the metronome, so you should definitely be practicing this with the metronome. But if you slowly work up in increments and keeping it comfortable, you will uh, you will get to a point where you can actually play it. Uh, nice and quick, smoothly, a lot quicker. So, uh, if you uh, got any questions on this or anything else, uh, come book a session with me right here on rocksource360.com, and I will see you soon.